take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. You can get recreational water illnesses if you swallow, have contact with, or breathe in mists or aerosols from water contaminated with germs. You can also get them by having contact with chemicals that are in the water or that evaporate from the water and turn into gas in the air. Take our lead. This example may simply be another case of dose makes the poison. Like medicine, a little bit of chlorine, such as the levels used in drinking water or swimming pools, kills relatively simple, but potentially deadly, microorganisms. At much higher concentrations, chlorine could damage the cells in our body. Point four May 1998. Let's help you make your mark. So peeing in the pool puts nitrogen in the water that will add to chlorine's oxidant demand, but it takes a lot of urine to make the indoor air quality of a natatorium go south. Either way, we have to address it once it's in the pool. Point two eight May 2020. Take our lead. Chlorine, either solid or liquid, is a pesticide used in pools to destroy germs, including those from feces, urine, saliva and other substances. But excessive exposure to chlorine can cause sickness and injuries, including rashes, coughing, nose or throat pain, eye irritation and bouts of asthma, health experts warn. Point six June 2018. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.